Welcome back, Ecom graduates. Today, I'm going to show you how to add featured products to your Ecomify theme. What you want to do is go into the back end of your Shopify store, and then you're going to click on Customize for the Ecomify theme. Once you're in the theme editor, this will be automatically defaulted right over here as Featured Products section. So it looks something like this. On the right sidebar, you're going to be offered your settings right over here. So the feature products, these are your products, and you will have none of these probably. So what you wanna do is you're going to remove all products and they will look like this as a default. You're gonna select your products, but remember, when you select your products, they will be in order of how you select it. Also, you wanna take in consideration to add around only six to seven of these products in this in this uh, feature products in this collection you can always add another section to have another feature products elsewhere on the home page or on the product page or on your uh, about us page but roughly around six to seven you want uh, just for load purposes as it does help your background color options you can choose light body or white uh, text is the alignment left or centered. Uh, here is the title for what you wanted to call it. Feature products, you can call this, you know, hats. You can call this just in new arrivals. Uh, title size, heading one is the biggest and heading six is the smallest. Uh, descrip description, you don't need to have it or if you want to have it, you definitely can but it doesn't have to be there if you don't want it. And then the description size, uh, small, and then uh, large, and then small. So I'll do like that. Uh, then right over here, image orientation, square is going to be the square landscape. It's going to be uh, longer horizontally. And then also portrait is going to be um, more vertical, depending on what type of product you have, if it's nice tall images or, or landscape images. Image thumbnail is going to be kind of the light border radius of it. You can choose none, or you can choose the thumbnail itself. You have this option on the other product uh, features and uh, other sections as well to make your store look nice and congruent. Uh, title size, you can choose nice and big or you can choose nice and small as well. You have the option to choose add to cart form, or you can have them uh, just click add to cart and it looks like this. So it lets you know that you know there's something in stock, three left, seven or two, or you can have them just direct to the product page. That is up to you. Then you can have the wish list show wish list or show not wish list. When you add this to wish list, it'll add in here and then you can add it to cart as well. Uh, show arrows, you can have them not be arrows and just slide through or you can have the arrows. The pagination are the dots right here. So if you disable, it won't have the dots. Um, the speed, you can have it really fast or really slow. And then autoplay, you can have it autoplay and slide as well. Uh, you can do all in view or per um, one by one and rewind, slide back to the first slide as well. Uh, your breakpoints. Breakpoints are how many are visible on a screen. So when you're in this editor right here, you go into full screen and you have four in a row. So I will add couple more products and scroll down. So when it's on a very small screen, it'll show one in a row. And that's super fast in sliding. Um, I can have two in a row, so it'll look like this. Once it gets to a lot, like four, it gets too cramped. So usually one is preferred. On small screens, you can have two, medium, large, uh, three, and then very large screens, you can have four in a row, which I have. 
um, or you can play around with having five in a row on very large screens. So I'm not on a very large screen right now, but it will show five in a row on a large screen. And you can have extra large screen, which will look like this. So I guess I'm on an extra large and it can look like this. You can play around with adding another feature product and having two in a row or three in a row. So we could do three in a row and it looks really nice as well. Scrolling down, you have view more button, which looks like this, and it just goes to uh, whatever button you assign right here, external links or to uh, collections, blogs, pages, things like that. And then you have the button color. So we have a secondary, which is going to be gray, which mentioned above how you can go into the styling and change that out right here. Or you can even have primary and all these normal buttons. They're the same ones except just outline. So you can play around and test. So it looks like this. Then you have the spacing, margin and bottom. Uh, padding. padding is the space within the element. Margin is the space outside of the element. You can play around with that and add more spacing. Top or have no spacing. So it looks how there's no spacing here almost. You can do equal spacing as well. Then you can play around with the margin and have more spacing with the whole section itself. It's top space. Thank you.